my favorite record and the most standout record I ever made in my life is Blessings. It's Blessings. Like, that's the record that I step on stage and, you know, if people really feel in the performance, you see some people crying, you know what I mean? Because, like, it's some real stuff. Like, it's just some real stuff. And the hook says, it says, Oluwa bless me today because I don't know tomorrow. I said, I walk, I pray. Lord, show me love. It means it's it's bit, what I'm basically saying is like I want God to bless me today because I don't know tomorrow. But as I'm working, I am praying so Lord will show me love. And this is like the story of every struggling Nigerian youth. Like people want their blessings right now because they don't know tomorrow. Like you know what I mean? Like people want it right now. So like that that stuff. And then me on the verse. Saying, I say blessings from wife side, from the streets in the ghetto, from the creeks in the south side. Now we made it out the ghetto. I don't go for ghetto. Still, the one are your blessings. And every mistake I made, talk to my lessons. If I don't do it for you, what is the essence? I don't go lie when I did broke, you did this. Now these people know they did this. Like when I when I when I'm saying lines like, um, I know I got what it takes, cause I belong with the Kendrick, the Cause and the Drakes, like. I'm just saying like some real stuff. I'm letting you know that there's still places that aspire to be as well. You know what I mean? So that record, no nah, man, like when that record, when the, the funny thing is when that record came out, the day came out, I was so depressed because the record leaked. The record got leaked, the day was supposed to come out. I was so depressed and I was just thinking about how much we had lost on on like streaming platforms and all that stuff. And, but funny enough, the leak helped the song blow up and go viral. So it became my it became my second biggest hit that revived the Young Six career in Nigeria. Cause from 2011, 2012, there was a little break. I wasn't consistent. At that point in time, that's why I said I had some good and bad deals. But after I released Blessings, my life changed for good. That record really b- brought in the blessings. No lie. I grew up in a, like I grew up in a Christian home. You know what I mean? Um, I was I was I prayed before in our church in the in the in the, in the altar. We had like over two thousand people. That was the first time I actually came on stage in my life. So I was that church kid at some point, you know what I mean? I got brought up with those moral values of, you know, you got to be a good kid, you got to know good from, good from bad, you know. I always got to try to be, you know, in the good side. But um, obviously, my growing up, I, I, I couldn't be a good kid because of the environment I grew up in. But, you know, that's, 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 that's what it is as far as that goes. And as far as my feeling good, my relationship with God is more about, myself and God than it is with any church or any organization or stuff like that. So it's a one-on-one thing, you know what I mean? So yeah, we were neighbors for a minute when I first came to LA, you know, I kept seeing like, you know, um, I kept seeing like this, um, like a lot of superstars, the, the cars were always outside our building, you know what I mean? And after a while, I realized that 24 hours and made in Tokyo, stayed in the same building you know with me and uh you know we started you know one day i met him in the elevator we kicked it it was cool i was cool you know i told him who i was he checked me out we followed each other on the gram one day he invited me over to his house and i was playing him music and i was about to put out some um, introduction to trap for album then and, and and i played him the on a daily record and i'm like yo like this shit would be dope if you're on it. And he's like, he listened to it and he's like, yo, this is straight fire. Like, and then, you know, he jumped on it. And, you know, I waited for the right moment to put it out. And yeah, I feel like this is the right moment. Now, like I said, I, I, I initially, the idea on the daily came to me when in 2016 when I was in Abuja. But the B was recorded on. There was just something not right about the whole setup. I knew there was something missing. So I kept on working on the record. I reproduced it like four times. And I think it was the fourth try with one producer, the Sally, that got me the sound. And even after that, I felt like there was still something missing. Then I had, I think like a year later, I I sent it over to this guy that played the guitars on Buddy. Then I had already released Buddy and he played the guitars on it. And I'm like, this is what was missing from this record. And that was when I felt like, oh, this record is ready now. And 
you know, the rest is by the grace of God, it's going to be history and it's going to turn out to be a success. I definitely want everybody to go check out my new video on the daily. Uh, that's it.